I needed a brake controller for my truck, so I purchased this Kurt Triflex, and I'll be installing that in my Silverado. Now this brake controller works with pretty much any vehicle, or at least any vehicle that's already wired for a 7-pin trailer connector. This adapter harness is vehicle specific, so you need to find the one that works for your make and model. One end will plug in under the dash, and the other end plugs into the controller itself. That is, if the vehicle is brake controller ready or plug and play, I guess you'd say. If not, there's a harness that's uh, open-ended, which case you'd have to splice uh, wires into it, doing it the hard way, basically. I think I'd rather just buy a different vehicle at that point. Under the dashboard on the driver's side is the electrical junction box. You need to pull this cover off. It has three clips. There's one clip here on the left side, and then there are two clips on the right side. On the left side, there's not enough room to get your hand in there, so you need to get up behind it with a screwdriver. I apologize for the shaky video I'm trying to get under this dashboard and use a screwdriver and hold a camera all at the same time. Once the left side is off, the right side is fairly easy. You can get in there with your hand and pull both tabs at the same time to remove the cover. The plug-in for the brake controller is here, which is essentially the uppermost open port in the box. The ends of the adapter wire are different. This is the end that will plug into the truck, and it is keyed. Notice these flanges here, that way it only plugs in one way. Those flanges will be oriented to the left, or another way to look at it too is the red wire will be lower right orientation. Push until you hear a click, that means it's locked in. That part is done, time to put the cover back on. There is a clearance notch in the, the cover, so you can run this wire out the top. I think getting the cover on was more difficult than taking it off. Um, I think it's easier to try to align this when you push it on, all three latches will latch at the same time. If you put one side on first, it just doesn't want to go on the other side very easily. I'm trying to see if the steering wheel is going to block my view if I have it on the right side just under my knee. And I don't know if I really want it on the left side either. It does need to be within easy reach. You also want to be able to see the display as well. So it looks like closer to the middle here is going to be the best placement. Also, before mounting it, I checked to make sure that the adapter wire was long enough. And I have this angled up a little bit so I can read the display. I believe this one you can actually angle up to 75 degrees and still have it function properly. From here, I need to plug the controller into the harness that I plugged into the truck. And then secure the wire up under the dash so that it's not hanging down. Again, I apologize for the shaky video. I'm in a very uncomfortable position here trying to work under the dashboard and also trying to see what I'm filming through a viewfinder. There's nowhere good to set the camera down. There are a few places up underneath the dash where I can run a zip tie to uh, secure it so it's not hanging down. And clip those off and we're all set. This is a 2018 Silverado. I think the process is going to be the same all the way back to model year 14, probably for the uh, GMC Sierra as well. Other makes and models may have some variations. When finalizing the angle of the controller in the bracket here, keep in mind that there is an adjustment knob on top, so you don't want to slam this thing all the way up. You won't be able to get your finger near to, to reach that adjustment knob, so leave a little space in there. This certainly beats the old school way of cutting and splicing wires to install a brake controller. The last steps are a calibration of the unit and then setting of the braking force, which I'm not showing here. As long as you're limber enough to work under the dashboard, the installation, however, is quite easy. Even easier if you're not trying to film at the same time.